Hi. I just wanted to let you know that the paraboloid is ready. At least mostly ready. Kind of. Okay, it's still not completely ready, but it's functional. And I didn't film the whole process this time, like I have done in the previous videos about this, because I was at my parents' place and I didn't have much time. I was just too lazy, to be honest. But I did document the process. I took some little clips here and there while doing it and we'll now cut right into those. The first thing I did was I glued on the bottom plate that was still missing and I also taped it on because I didn't want to have to wait for the glue to dry. And I then uh, took some scrap wood and cut some thin sticks out of it. And I used those sticks to give some structural strength to the paraboloid because the way I left it in the previous video, it was kind of sloppy. It wobbled around when, when pushed or uh, when held. And I think that caused the putty to crack all over the place. And that's not good. So I thought maybe uh, if I give it some strength so it doesn't bend so much, it would then hold the uh, putty better and it wouldn't crack. But yeah. I glued those sticks on, as you can see. Those sticks also conveniently act as a holder for the microphone. As you can see I'm using a zoom recorder. Uh, and I did some tests. I generated some white noise, which in case you don't know is just uh, audio noise that has exactly the same amount of every frequency we can hear. And I put a high quality speaker to play that white noise in the other end of the room. And in the other end, I recorded with my paraboloid and that zoom recorder. I also, of course, did a control record uh, so that I could compare the results. And it seems that already, even though the paraboloid isn't completely ready, uh, it amplifies the higher frequencies a lot, uh, like a kilohertz and upwards. And that's a really good sign. I'm happy with it already and I am hoping to improve it even more. I will now play the comparison so you can hear yourself. So this is just white noise, nothing else. Uh, but halfway through it will cut to the paraboloid version and you can hear how the higher frequencies of that noise are amplified a lot. Uh, that was recorded like 8 meters away from the speaker. And I think that's a good result for a first test. And here we have the thing. As you can see, this holding mechanism is obviously very crude. I thought it would be just a temporary solution, but it works greatly. And I don't see why it should be any more complicated if it works. So yeah, that's the paraboloid as it's right now. I, I will try to make this surface even harder somehow. I have some ideas, but at least I'm going to paint it so that it looks a bit nicer. Mm. Whoa, whoa. Whoops. Whoops. That's the process this far. We will continue in the next building video. Thanks for watching and bye.